Hey guys, it's Jenna. So today is going to be a little more spontaneous type of video because I'm going to be showing you all 10 ways you can make 2017 the best year possible. 2017, I'm really going to be focusing on myself and things I want to be doing and I hope you all do too. Number one is to take risk and say yes more. I know this can be a hard thing to do, but when I say take risk, I mean safe risk, not dangerous risk because we don't want to get hurt. But also another thing is saying yes more. For an example, if a group of people that you're not really close to asks you to go out and you're deciding whether you should stay home and watch Netflix or go out with a group of people that you aren't really close to, in that situation, say yes because you never know what it could lead to. It could lead to new friends, either you can end up really liking it or even more. I don't know, you never know until you try. Personally, I want to experience a lot more in 2017 and I'm not going to get anywhere unless I say yes. And remember that if you said yes in the end and you end up going and not feeling comfortable, you can always say no and just go home. You have an option, but at least the fact that you went out and socialized instead of just staying home, watching Netflix, and not really doing much. Number two is to make and accomplish goals. Something I'm trying to focus on in 2017 is making goals and sticking to them throughout the year and trying to accomplish as many as I can. One of my goals in 2017 is to keep up with my YouTube and that either means pre-recording a bunch of videos so that I can, will have backup videos so when I don't have a video that week I can just upload one of those. But ever since school started I've been behind in YouTube. I haven't been regularly uploading on Fridays which is actually like my normal upload day but some days I've been uploading on Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays, Thursdays, whenever and I want to be sticking to my schedule of uploading every Friday. I've done this before, at the beginning of the year I make a bunch of goals and most of them, not even half of them, I even end up accomplishing throughout the year. So that's another thing I really want to try this year is to accomplish almost, if not all, of my goals. So number three is to focus on you and this is hard for many people because a lot of people like to focus on making other people happy but really our happiness needs to come first before we can make others happy. You also can't focus on what other people are going to think or what other people are going to judge because anything you do people are going to judge and it can either be a good judging or bad judging but you really cannot let it get to your head. Worrying about those things can be really stressful and then it also puts pressure on you and your decisions. But really try to improve yourself either if that's in a physical or mental way. Number four is to stay organized. This is something I really struggle with because every year I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna be organized with school, sports, all this other stuff, and in the end, I really end up not being organized, but I really wanna try fixing that. 2017, I'm definitely gonna be trying to stay organized in school, sports, balancing time, YouTube, and life in general. So number five is to take care of your body because your body is something you're going to have for the rest of your life and if you don't take care of it then you're not going to feel as confident in yourself. It will also add a lot of stress on yourself if you don't feel good in your body. So adding on to that is eating healthy, having a good mental mind, and staying physical. Number six is to find something you like to do. Either if that's a new sport, starting a YouTube channel, or any other hobbies, then definitely go for it because you might find something that you really enjoy. Just something you could resort to if you're having a bad day, and my thing is really YouTube. And if any of you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I highly recommend it and only do it if you're really gonna enjoy it because you don't want to be just wasting your time on something that you're not fully dedicated to. I'll just focus on improving my layout, my editing, anything else like that, my thumbnails, and it'll take my mind off of whatever was going on. It's always nice to have a hobby you enjoy because it's something that you can use as a distraction or just for fun. Number seven is to surround yourself with good people. My advice is to surround yourself with people that you enjoy and that you can also be yourself around and likewise. You want people in your life that are going to respect you and I've said this in past videos but it's quality over quantity. I just want to be on good terms with everyone. I don't like having issues. I don't like having problems with people. I don't like beef. I don't like drama. I don't like any of that stuff. Like can't we all just get along? I mean I don't I don't know. Just surround yourself with people that you love. Number eight is to change any bad habits that you have. Getting rid of all your bad habits, for an example, I stay up really, really late and then I end up even waking up earlier and not getting enough sleep for school. And usually another bad habit I want to change is whenever I wake up, I end up not getting out of bed for like another four hours. So I just like go on my phone for like another four hours. I don't know how time passes that fast, but I no idea. <laughs> just get rid of any bad habits that you know you have. And I know everyone at least has one bad habit, so definitely go out there and change your habits. Number nine is to be more positive and I've been in situations where I look at the negative outcome of everything and I start to lose all hope. There's always a positive out of a negative even if that's learning from the experience so you don't have to go through it again or even just learning a basic lesson from it. Everyone goes through bad times but really it just matters on how you take in the emotions and how you express them. The last thing is number 10 which is to be you. 100% be you. That's how you're going to be the happiest. Why would you pretend to be someone else that you know you're not and then end up in the wrong crowd and not being happy? 
being you is pretty much the foundation of everything else and it leads to the best year possible. I mean, why not go for it? But once you're good with yourself and you're doing stuff that you like and then other people come in the situation and be like, oh wow, you're weird. And then it really doesn't bother you at the point because you're doing what you like and you're being you. People at my school would always think I was so weird for making videos, but at this point it really doesn't bother me anymore because I'm good with myself and I'm doing what I love. So what does their opinion like matter at this point? So now I can do what I love and I don't have to question it off of other people's opinions. Always remember to focus on the important things because you don't always want to be focusing on things that are going to waste your time and won't benefit yourself. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and also I hope you all enjoyed this video because it was more so just sit down, talk, kind of be real here. If any of these things helped you out, don't forget to let me know down below. Also leave any video suggestions down in the comment section or you can tweet me or DM me on Instagram, anything, and just let me know because I want to know what videos you guys want to see on my channel. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in my next video, so bye. <laughs>